Hi everyone, I hope you are well. I'm using the Crystal Vision Tarot card deck for our message today. I'll choose three cards, read the base of the pack and I'll also choose three from the Destiny pack as well for some extra guidance. So I'm setting the intention for a reading for the highest and greatest good for the collective or anyone who views this video. So there we have one, the five of wands. And we have two, the seven of cups. And then three, the hierophant. Okay, so we have the five of wands. And this is the energy of Aries, Mars and Jupiter coming together, all that fiery energy. And if we do not keep our attention on our passions, it can then drift off into anything that is causing conflict in our lives. And you can see those two lions there are really fighting each other, going into conflict. Those two other people are there, are standing back and watching. So this card tells us if there's any conflict, to please just stand back. Don't get involved. There's a lot of big energy, fiery energy at the moment. So this can create a, this is a card of unrest, a, a, a feeling rest, restless. So feelings of, of unrest going on in your life that's causing some procrastination as well because the Seven of Cups is all about too much going on, causing conflict within ourselves, not really knowing which direction to go in. So we start to doubt ourselves. We we actually go into that conflict within of, of not feeling good enough or not, not feeling that we... There's nothing around us that is bringing any upliftment. So we're being asked to go within. So we have the Hierophant as well. So the Hierophant is a, is a card of a spirituality. It can be a group, a spiritual group, a religion. But we're being asked to go within and find our own connection with God, with the divine, with our higher self, not to listen to, to anyone who is leading us in a place of fear and conflict. If we are not made to feel loved, if we are made to feel isolated in any way, or pushed out or the energy around us is not very not very comforting and supportive we're being asked to go within to, to really connect with our own personal our own to connect in a way that that we do personally we don't need another person to to bring those messages through lots going on so many things happening around us. We're being asked to really just focus on our gift, on that, that beautiful, those messages from heaven that we all receive. We don't need an outsider to bring us those messages. And once we attune and once we start to listen to those spiritual messages, we are guided to that one cup that one cup there that owes our unique gift, that owes all our divine abundance. And you can see from that cup, there is a rainbow. And at the other side of the rainbow, there's always a pot of gold, but it's coming from one cup. It's, we're not being, we are not being in a place of too much going on and feeling that we have to fit in and feeling that if we choose another direction we're going to create conflict and isolation in our lives but from that one gift 
from that one natural gift, something that comes really natural that we love doing that lights us up from the inside out that rainbow that magical rainbow appears and at the other side of that rainbow is a pot of gold and she is rising up she has all the support there with her dragon and there is lots of dragon energy around and the and the moon there so as she focuses and as we focus on what it is that really lights us up inside, what we love doing, what it is that is so natural to us and it will be different for each one of us, completely different and it's to come in to that calmness within, to that divine source energy within and allow that to just to just guide us and listen to that divine intelligence. The Hierophant is a card of spirituality and that's what we're being asked to do at this time, to listen to our own spiritual guidance. At the base of the pack is the Nine of Wands. So lots of fire and water in this card. And the Hierophant is the card of, of Taurus, very grounded. So we're being asked to ground our spiritual connection, our, ground our manifestations in this moment, not get swept away by the outside world, by what other people are saying. And then we have the nine of wands and she sat there with her lion and there are, there are buttons that have got flames above them connecting to the divine she's sat there looking how far she's come looking at that beautiful energy that she has built all around her and this is a time of pause and really going in and looking at how far we've come and going in that direction keep taking those baby steps sitting, refocusing, realigning till we're in that place of calmness and then we will move forward listening and using love as our guide, using peace and bliss and upliftment as our guides. So she is sat there with the strength of the lion, the lion is there nice and tame so the lion represents strength but from that strength is such calmness, such peace. And if we are in that place of wanting this or wanting that or needing this, we will always be in a place of conflict and lack because that is a, that is a energy that will just manifest more of things that we want and things that we need when we just come into that um, that that beautiful place of stillness within, when we come into that stillness within, then we start to expand and feel the joy of life, feel the expansion of life, and then that brings in the things that we love. So I'm asking now for a message from the Destiny Pack for the highest and greatest God, for anyone who views this video. So I'm asking now for a message underneath the Five of Wands. There we have the bear. So underneath the Seven of Cups, the key to success. Underneath the Hierophant, the book. So I'm just going to ask for some confirmation to go with the Hierophant in the book, New Beginnings. Underneath the Nine of Wands, we have the star, and underneath the star, we have the fish. So, underneath the Five of Wands and conflict, when we go into conflict, it's because we are defending ourselves or we are feeling vulnerable. And, and 
the bear is standing there and saying that you're protected. You do not have to defend yourself. You are not vulnerable. You're actually very powerful. And we have this heavenly support around us, guiding us every step on our path. And as we step out of conflict, we create a path of peace. So whatever it is, whether it is conflict over you don't know which direction to go in, whether it's conflict within the family, within a relationship, step back, choose peace during this time. And that's our greatest protection. When we all go in, in with this conflict, we create division absolute division and the path and the ascension to the fifth dimension is one of unity so we've been asked to put all our opinions to one side or let go of any assumptions and presumptions that we may have about another and just keep coming into peace because our, the peace is our greatest protection against any conflict and we only have to look outside into the world we don't have to look far to find that conflict and so when we come in into that reservoir that is within us of divine peace because whatever is within us then we will start to create in our outside world so we're protected we don't need to go in and go into conflict with anyone to prove ourselves right, to to defend ourselves in any way, shape or form. We are protected. We are very, very powerful in a place of peace. And then underneath the Seven of Cups, the cups are all around our feelings, our intuition, our, our spiritual gifts. So when we go into that, state of being within and really listen to what we love doing and if we look in our past everything that is starting to connect that we love doing so we have took a course on that and we have expanded our, our wisdom in those areas and to really focus on those and, and it everybody has got their own unique gift, their own spiritual gift. And that is our key to success. That's uh, uh, this is the, the key to happiness and to love. So when we come in and we get to know who we truly are without our head telling us a million different things that we need to do going into conflict not knowing which way to go because we we put ourselves in so much confusion confusion coming within and letting go and sitting in meditation and really connecting to that inner inner voice within that beautiful guidance within that will take us on that road to opportunities success this is the key to success so we're all now tapping in to our divine source energy, that divine intelligence within us that's now we're starting to listen to and it's moving us and propelling us on our path. And then from the hyphens, we have the book. So the book is all around patience because this thing's happening energetically that we're not yet seeing so keep going within keep creating that beautiful temple that is housing our divine essence really cultivating going within and from this there's new beginnings so new spiritual gifts coming in new guides i'm seeing us all we're all we're all now have new guides around us who are helping us on our, our ascension angels lots of angels entering earth at this time to to assist us through our ascension so this is new beginnings we are all stepping on a path a new path 
and this is a wonderful time of our spiritual our spiritual spirituality but our own personal relationship with the divine and from that we start to grow and blossom and when we connect with that spiritual essence that, that our own unique personal connection with God the angels that's when it nourishes our soul we really feel it then and we start to propel forward on our path and this is the beginning now things starting to come in we're starting to see evidence of our manifestations just staying in peace and from the nine of wands we have a wish being granted so nines are about completion and nine is a spiritual number of spiritual completion as well so we're all connecting which is bringing it wishes our wishes are being fulfilled in the most beautiful ways as we sit and we let go of trying to force when we let go of really wanting and needing we let all that go realizing that that is a lower vibration that will just keep will just keep manifesting itself and block us from things that to, divine abundance coming to us but this is a wish being granted as we sit there survey everything that we have in our life all our achievements then we start to really connect with our wishes being fulfilled and coming into our lives and then we have where finances are concerned so if you have been struggling financially it's shifting as you choose peace as you come out of conflict come out of negative karma prosperity grows and and this is swimming right towards us uh, so there's there's uh, an opening of prosperity of divine abundance flowing to us now as we tap as we tap into our own connection with the divine and our guides and allow allow that beautiful energy of peace of love to be our to, to navigate us on our path to be the compass on our path we will walk into this beautiful time of prosperity so it's on its way now and if we was to say this is conflict and it will block these from coming into fruition that's all it will do it will just indent everything when we let go of that conflict even if it's conflict within ourselves we then open up to draw this into our lives it's our choice and to choose all the beautiful energies of love of bliss and happiness no matter how hard how strong an energy is trying to take us into conflict as we choose the, the gentleness as we choose the peace we walk into a prosperous life a healthy life so we have 5, 14, 19, 26, 8. Prosperity. 8 is a, a number of abundance. It's the infinity symbol bringing earth to bringing heaven to earth and that beautiful energy of the if, affinity symbol but also prosperity coming into our lives it's all the choice choose 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 happy thoughts we create happiness choose gratitude and we'll create more things to be grateful for it's all a matter of choice it's all a matter of the thoughts that we are choosing to listen to and choosing to allow in that head space into our energy field so a beautiful time now of transition beautiful time of stepping into our own spiritual gifts that are 
really flowing that are really opening up now for us all as we are letting go of all the mental dialogue connecting to our spiritual essence within and being guided by the beautiful guidance of our angels who come through with so much love so much healing our spirit guides we're all going through a change of spirit guides at this time wonderful time of ascension moving on to the higher timelines and each time we choose a thought of peace every time we choose peace instead of conflict so every time we have a thought of, of compassion for ourselves or anyone else instead of going into overprotection and, and defending ourselves, as we go and step into compassion, as we step into that beautiful calmness, we are actually we are actually clearing karma all timelines start collapsing that we've built with conflict, that we've gone over the same pattern with conflict. As we choose differently, those old timelines and those old paradigms are collapsing really quickly. And we're building a new paradigm with a structure, a solid, a, a solid and firm structure with love, compassion, joy, happiness, good health, everything that is that is beneficial to us as we allow those conflicts now to, to leave our lives, not engage in them. We become stronger as we let go of conflict. We become stronger, healthier and freer. So I'm sending so much love. Have a beautiful, beautiful evening. And thank you so, so much for listening. And if you do enjoy my readings, please like and subscribe and help this, this beautiful soul group, this angelic group to grow and come together and support each other. So I'm sending so much love and thank you so, so much for listening. God bless. Thank you.